Do you want me to say what I have heard is being casted, or just... Sure, go ahead. No, you um, might as well. I mean, I, I don't want to get in trouble on the stream. Or Nintendo to get all over our asses. Ironic That's that Nintendo would come up on you for playing a Sega game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it was hinted for a while that there was going to be a Zelda movie, uh, Royal, but... um. Uh, I do know that there is going to be one that works uh, soon. I heard it was live action. I yep, live action. CGI, though. I mean, but... it would kind of make sense. If it was going to be animated, make it more anime-ish. To have a, that more serious tone. Yeah. And hey, that means that Nintendo is going for a variety of what their movies are going to be instead of just... You know, relying on one animation company for a single property. Whoa. And it's a good yeah. thing because Illumination is not exactly the they don't high, have... highest quality studio. Yeah. I mean, <coughs> their mascots are like those. The minions. Not... the minions. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those fucking Homer Simpson penises. <laughs> or Corn Pop. Corn Pop degenerates. <laughs> Hey, three Sonics, there you oh go. Oh my god, that was forgiving. And to continue. I'll gladly take it. But you know what concerns me? big score! You know what concerns me most about the Zelda movie? What's the that? The writer they chose. Oh. Who I believe, he's the same writer who did the Jurassic World trilogy. Um, oh and no! And the Rise of Skywalker. Oh god. Yeah, so, I, I'm sort of thinking to myself, oh my god, we are so screwed. Because they can try to use whatever member berries and nostalgia bait and all they want, but if the writing's not good, I'm not going to give a shit. Yeah, that's what it all comes down to, is you need good writing. I would hope that for the sake for the sake of it, it's, you know, since Nintendo crew is actually going to be behind this, if they can do what they did with Mario and try to stick with the source material... And not try to make it like stand too far out, you know. Regardless of who they might have as writer, but we'll see. Well, the thing about the Super Mario Bros. movie is that it played itself a little too safe for my liking. That's understandable. Um, like I was really happy to have seen the film, but I can understand why some would say that. I think it was appropriate because a lot of game adaptations prior to that were taking too many chances. Or just didn't try at all. It was one of those two. The yeah. Mario Brothers movie was one of the few examples to go right in the middle portion. So with the sequel, I'm certain that they would start to take a little bit more risks. Um, that can kind of be said with the Sonic movie. Because its plot is kind of similar to the road trip formula of a lot of those like cartoonish characters you're involved in. It just so happens but at least they, at least but, Sega was able to make it work. Yeah. Definitely, yep. and with the sequel, I thought was so much better. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Careful, oh. not you fell for it. Yeah, this is one of those automatic scrolling sections that you have yeah. to be careful of. I ten percent did not like how the CGI animations were. I mean, I guess that was. I mean, that was supposed to be the idea. Um, when it came to Detective Pikachu, because yeah, they look off-putting, but they're monsters. That was the idea. You know what's ironic? The same guy I mentioned earlier, he also wrote Detective Pikachu, who okay. Nintendo was using for the Zelda movie. Okay, so I'm... So at this point, I'm not too worried. I think this is more on the lines of if he can write a good script, he can write a good script. Or if it's more like a 50-50 chance of it being neither... There's a possibility of it being extreme, if that makes any sense. I'm going to go ahead and save there. Oh, that was that was a bit Holy of a shit. risky oh. move there because it was pushing you right there. There. I would personally go for the fire. Yeah. You thank go. you. Oh. oh. I completely fucked with the arena here. What the hell? So what am I supposed to do? Oh, go left, go left. Say, watch your step. 
This boss is basically a self destroyer. Just let it launch its yeah, to survive. Towards itself. That's all you have to do. Yeah, and with that fire shield, it's a basic walk in the park. Yeah. Or in this case, even, a walk in lava. It's especially even even if you have a much lower ceiling to deal with here. But, True. Yeah. The way those things shatter, the sound effect. Dang, dang, it's so weird. Bang, bang. Davis says, isn't also Shigeru Miyamoto involved in writing and directing? I would think no, so. No, not really. I th it's Shigeru Miyamoto is more of a producer than he is a writer or director. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's more into game design than he is, a, you know, writing a script or a movie. Well... I would think since, you know, Zelda has been kind of like his, kind of like his baby, just like Mario, you know. Next to Mario? Have some, yeah, next to Mario. I thought he would have, you know, some say in what, what goes, you know. Yeah, I do hope at some point that they do take on a Metroid movie. Not sure how they're going to handle it, because there's such a, like, there's so much lore behind it. Imagine if they do a live-action adaptation with Ridley Scott directing. That'd be pretty badass. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> I mean, Metroid was heavily inspired by Alien. Yeah, and the main antagonist is named after Ridley Scott. Yeah. Emerald Alter Zone. Emerald Alter Zone. <laughs> I mean, there were so many different, so many different kinds Whee! of names you can give it, other than Hidden Palace. So you know, you're very, you know, <laughs> it's as basic as it comes. Yeah. Goes yeah. again. Rings for you. A few rings. That's fine. Alright, whatever. Boing. That was a brain fu- <laughs> Well, okay, it wasn't a bear. Oh, da, 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 da. hang on, hang on. Let me get those rings. Are you going for some rings? Don't blame me. Oh, hey, look. My background fetish is showing once again. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, nope. Oh, damn. I guess that works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. That's even showing what up for me. Fucking what Tails fuck? kicked his ass. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm getting my I'm ass. guessing that that silence was you laughing hysterically. Oh, I silenced out. Yeah, sadly so. That happens a lot with Discord. Discord, it is all your fucking fault. <sighs> yeah, it's showing that you're taking an, uh, an ad break right now. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> you're able to get ads i can't get ads on my damn uh retro gamer kevin no david 80s if they make a Star Fox movie i personally think it would be good if sacred haven Ooh, i love that that bluish color but no um i hope that they go for the Star Fox 64 um narrative about Star Fox and his father because there was something beautiful about that Whoops. Huh. It's showing a Sonic ad. The restaurant Sonic. Huh. While you're playing a Sonic game. The irony. Honestly, that would have been a hilarious like sponsorship instead of um Olive Garden in the movie. That would have been funny. That would have been a lot better. Ooh, I see a, a bit oh! of power color issues with the background, particularly in the clouds. Yeah, they're popping out a little too much. Yeah, that that was my fault. Nope. I... Oh, 
Oh! Tails! Damn it, Tails! Tails, you ruined it all! Tails, what the fuck, bro? That's I'm a definite it. damn it, Tails moment. <laughs> I just imagine him with a. Oh my god, a cloud saved me! Wait, 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 hang on. Don't touch anything. Nope. Boss time. Oh, doesn't that ring a bell? Oh shit! Ah, oh, we're stuck. Nope. Shit. Oh. You should see some of the other ROM hack boss fights Fuck. of this, because some of, some of the ROM hacks of this boss fight just have him zooming straight out of the screen. I, I've seen that. It yeah, cool. particularly from Master Edition. It's like, if you don't have Supersonic, you're going to have a really hard time. Yeah, no matter what, I was going to get hit there. <sighs> Damn it. There is a way to avoid Mecha Sonic's attacks. I mean, for sure, yeah. No! Ah. That wasn't one of them, though. No. No, apparently not. Yeah. And neither was that. <laughs> Damn it. Nor that. <laughs> David A says, talking about Mecha Sonic, we better see him in the next movie with Shadow. I don't know if that would be fitting or not. Would it be fitting to see Metal Sonic in Sonic 3? Not sure, actually. I would see Metal more than I would Mecha. Fuck! Yeah, Mecha is Mecha's more of a throwaway character, if anything. Because Mecha doesn't have as much important significance as Metal Sonic does. Despite how badass... Mecha Sonic was in Super Mario Bros. Z. Right. Ah, oh, shit! He was too high there. No! Oh, the ring was right there! No! I know, I was trying to recover that. I was like, God damn it, man! You lost the precious! Never do that again. <laughs> shit! Don't... Yes, yeah, and especially don't ever play its play his game. Why Which did I game? Do that? Golem. <laughs> I heard that game. Oh, yeah, I've awful. heard that's one of the worst reviewed games of the year. <laughs> yeah.